Okay. I think we should be good now. The, the stream is not complaining so far. So yeah, thank you. Thank you for sticking around if you stick around. Uh, yeah, the good old frame drop. It's it's so annoying. It's so annoying. Like my connection is fine. I cannot detect any issue with it. Unless this is my computer. Maybe it's my computer that that causes this. But it's really ridiculous because you see, I have an issue with the connection. I stop the stream. I restart it without changing anything. And then it's fine. It makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. No, that's that's what I thought, Abuelo. That's what I thought for for a long time. That like I started the stream, this is automatically selecting the server. It would select a poor server and then I would restart and it would connect to a different one. But from what I've seen, it always connects uh, myself to the Madrid server. And unless there are multiple servers in Madrid, maybe that's it. Um, and maybe maybe one of them isn't that good, but it's it's stupid. This doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it could be OBS. Could could be OBS. I'm maybe now more convinced it's OBS, but I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so um, let's let me change this to the main screen. Why is this not? Ah, okay, it's here. Let's load the save game. Let's load the save game and um, today we're going to ride the tour of Slovenia and hopefully we're not going to have the <laughs> the two main uh, Slovenian riders in the world because that would kind of mean I would have no chance. At least Pogacar in real life he usually um, goes to this race or at least he has in the past two, three years. And he, he basically cruises and, and wins it like very easily. Um, so we're going to start with the Tour of Slovenia. Five stages. Then we'll have the national championships. Hopefully this season I can become the Portuguese national championship uh, champion. Uh, in time trial because yeah, this is not going to happen in in the road race, although I think this this profile is actually the Tirreno Adriatico stage from a few years ago. It's not even not even in Portugal, but anyway. Uh, and then we'll have the if time time allows it, because I started later today already. Um, if time allows it, I'm going to play this one. It's a 2.2 race, so it's a low category race, but it's. If I have the time, I will play it anyway. And then on the next stream, I'll do Volta Portugal. Currently, we have the, the same route, the same parkour as I played in the previous season. And honestly, I don't want to play the same again. So I think I might change this. I might go to the database files using the editor and change the, the race to a, a different year. Um, so yeah, we'll see how that goes. So yeah, the next stream next week will be Volta Portugal and then we'll finish this, the season in two weeks having the European and World Championships and eventually the Guangxi Tour. This might be a stretch to do all of these because there's a long time. I mean, there aren't that many races to be simulated here. That's the good part. But uh, six plus six, 12 races. Yeah, that's... That's a big push. That's a big push. OBS is a bit shitty sometimes. You're not a streamer, but a friend of yours is. You always had prom problems with that. I mean, the the software typically works well, but um, yeah, I, I don't know. I just do not know what what the issue is uh okay you go on lurk on lurk mode food and such that is that is definitely necessary thank you for the raid once again 
more to us. Uh, and have a great lurk and lunch or I don't know, can you call it lunch at this time? <laughs> See you later. Hello, Ghost Ghostbirds. How are you doing? Welcome in. Hope you're having a great Thursday. By the way, I have a question for you as a person who is uh, <laughs> involved with the world DB of Procycling Manager. Do you have any indication of when, perhaps potentially, could the Giro 2022 be available in the world DB? Do you have any inside information? <sighs> okay, Mastani, you go to the lurk corner as well. Thank you for being around. Okay, so we are going to Slovenia, as I mentioned. We have, there are a few decent riders. We have Ethan Ater, Big Zabel. Wait, what? Is this? It's Rick Zabel? What what team is he on? Or in in yeah, you're in a team, not on a team. Well, you can be on a team. I don't know. Hello, Lukash. How are you doing? Leave me a lurk. <laughs> Gotta do some stuff. Southern Carinthia. <laughs> well, I don't understand the joke. Sometimes, well, not not in a long time. Now that we don't have the major peak of of the pandemic, but uh, at some point we actually had a professional uh, cyclist from Slovenia uh, that would pop up, pop in in the in the channel. He actually played. Uh, with us sometimes when we were playing multiplayer pro cycling manager and also when we had uh, a few sessions of hearts of iron he also played with us um, but currently yeah i don't know if there are any slovenians <laughs> oh okay so let me think so karinfia is probably a province in austria and you call Slovenia Southern Karin Karinthia. Yes, okay, that's it. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I got it, I got it. Uh, I sometimes do the joke, but with with the Spanish region of Galicia, because uh, like Portugal and Galicia used to be one thing at some point. They used to be part of the same kingdom. Then it got... <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Sorry. Sorry for the dog bark. Should be fine now. Oh, it's the... I think it was the postman. I think it was the postman. So, yeah, it's it's fine now. It's fine. Um, and sometimes I just say that uh, Galicia is northern Portugal. So I kind of do the same joke. Yeah, we have... We all have those jokes. <laughs> Okay, so let's go with this. Let's start playing it. Uh, I didn't check the full stages, the full profile. There are a few hilly stages. There is no time trial in this one. Uh, and as if you were around in the previous stream, you might recall that I won the GC in the ZLM tour because of a time trial, basically. Um, so I won that stage, stage one, and then managed to hold the lead um, until the end. There's no time trial here, so if I want to win the GC, I will definitely have to do some sort of late attack to, to then be able to, to get some time. Okay, you go do your stuff, Lukas. You go do your stuff. Thank you so much for dropping by. If you are still going to, to stick around, um, yeah, enjoy the lurk. If not, well, be productive, be productive. Um, so by the way, tomorrow it's the beginning of the Giro d'Italia and I have posted that on, where is it? 
I posted that on my on my Discord, and here is the link for those who are not in the um, in the server yet. And if you want to join, of course, um, I posted uh, the code for a Velo Games uh, league that I created. So if you play Velo Games, or if you don't know what it is, it's basically like uh, cycling fantasy or fantasy. It's like F1 or football fantasy, but for cycling. And I created a league specifically for the Giro d'Italia. And if you want to join it, the the code for the league is there, is in on my Discord server, so you can actually join it. And then we can follow along the next three weeks. We can follow the the Giro d'Italia, the race, and have some some fun together, chatting and and um, how do you say it? I don't know the word. Brag, brag. You can you can brag if you win or you can hide if you lose. Um, whatever pleases you. Okay, so stage one. I didn't even see what they want from me. Get some exposure during the breakaway? Am I going to be allowed to go in the breakaway? There are quite a lot of World Tour teams here. Wow, the, the start list is actually far better than I was expecting. Okay, let's let's go on the breakaway. Because why not? Why not? Oh, thank you. Thank you, Streamlabs bot. After I just sent the... After I just used the command for, <laughs> for the Discord invitation link, you... You post it again. I think this is proper, a proper AI controlled bot. Because it, it definitely knows when to, let's follow Yeromel. Ah, there's too many people still. The peloton is, is going to keep chasing us for as long as, as we have. Let's attack again. For as long as we have more than three riders up the road, they are going to chase. Okay, we have three now. They are not going to chase. There's actually one rider who already dropped. Yeromel, he cannot follow us. We have Skok. Is Giga... Is Giga around? I don't know if he's still at Adria. Well, is if he is at Adria, he's not in the race. So that's a shame. The bot troll. Yeah, absolutely. He's just telling me, oh, you see, I, I knew you wanted that. <laughs> Even the bot trolls me. Ah, uh, my life, my life. Oh, there's another rider attacking him <laughs> back in the peloton. He's never going to get there to us. But yeah, okay, it was easier than expected to, to form this breakaway, to assemble this breakaway. Let's try to help out a bit. And whoa, 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 I need to sprint, or at least just follow these guys. I cannot out sprint them. Or even if I can, I'm not too interested in that. Although, I did get one second for being third, and this Yeromel guy definitely didn't seem like the best sprinter. He's totally out of energy as well. Hello, Diogo! Who are you calling an old man? How dare you? How dare you call me an old man? <laughs> How are you doing, man? Welcome in, welcome in. Watching me on the TV. Wow, I'm on TV. Look, mom, I'm on TV. <laughs> so you won't be chatting, but you're there. Okay, man, okay. Wow, wow, I'm on TV. It's only your TV, but... <laughs> I hope you're having a good day, man. Didn't you have exams last week? I think you have. How did they go? I predicted that you would do well. I didn't put money on that, but I predicted you would do well. <laughs> Shh. Shh. You can't say that on TV. That will show up on TV and everyone will see it now. 
I hope your mom is not watching. Because because that would be... That would be bad. We're six minutes ahead of the peloton. Interesting. Now, we have a KOM. Honestly, I might actually be able to take the KOM. I might be able to do this. Let's see if this guy attacks. And then we can follow. He's going to attack. Okay, we need to attack as well. Come on. Maximum strength attack. attack. I cannot. Jeez. Okay. Okay. Nothing to see. Nothing to see. <laughs> you told her. <laughs> okay. Okay. Good boy. Good boy. Good son. Not hiding things from, from your parents. That is good. That is good. Okay, we have a sprint now. So let's follow Yeromel. Actually, screw it. We're going downhill. So let's start the sprint. And yay, we won an intermediate sprint. How crazy is that? So we got four seconds already. Which is going to be quite nice. I might try to get those three as well. Uh, the exams went quite well. Nice. Glad to know that. Glad to hear it. Oh, I think I need to... Yeah, I need to up my effort a bit. Because... Um, Actually, I was thinking, yeah, no, not, nothing, nothing, forget about it, forget, oh no, the cars, you're hitting the cars, so poorly parked, who parks these cars, wow, I'm, n I'm never going to drive in Slovenia again, well, I'm, I, I never drove in Slovenia, <laughs> I've never been there. I haven't been to many countries, to be honest. Um, the first time I was away from Portugal was was in my uh, high school senior year. In the typical seniors uh, trip. I went to Spain. Wow, I know. Incredible, huh? Just, just across the border. But uh, I went to um, to Spain. Then the next time I left the country was to visit my brother, like almost 10 years after that, to visit my brother when he was living in the UK, uh, when, he, when his son uh, was born. And the third time I left the country was to go to Italy in the in the Tuscany region. Very beautiful region, by the way. Um, and that was initially a, a work trip at a, a congress in, it, in Italy. And and then I stick I stuck around st stick stuck stuck around for five more days after the Congress finished. My wife traveled as well. She was pregnant at the time. And uh, we, had a, we had a fun time there. We had a fun time there. After that, I went to Spain a few other times, but yeah, I, I haven't seen that many countries, it seems. Okay, so I can start sprinting now. Let's sprint. Let's go for those bonus seconds. Ah, uh, with my 56 sprint, I cannot beat Skok. Okay, not terrible. I completed the objective already, but that is good as well. I don't know. Does it start with a time trial? It, It's not, right? It's a punchy finish. I think it's a mostly flat stage, but with a punchy finish. And then there's a time trial in stage two. Yeah, hilly finish, yeah. I, I was checking the, the profile earlier, like yesterday, I think. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to... How long is that 
final climb. It's it's not very long. It's it's quite a short finish. Five percent average. Hmm, actually, that might suit him. That might suit him. But there's also Matthew Vanderpool. So yeah, there's that. There is that. Okay, let's start pushing a bit harder. I mean, not that hard, because then the others won't do anything. We're still 30 kilometers from the finish. And the peloton is now one and a half minutes behind. I have not been to America. <sighs> Seems like every European goes to New York or something during high school. No, in Portugal, we usually go to, um, to Spain to the Mediterranean coast. I was in... It was not too far from Barcelona. I actually had a, an afternoon, spent an afternoon in, in Barcelona uh, during that trip. We traveled by bus, by the way. <laughs> it was like a 16-hour bus ride until there. I slept for 30 minutes during that ride. I was so tired. I was so freaking tired. I was tired for the whole week. I think I was tired for the, the whole week. Okay, let's up this to 80. Screw it. Let's go up to 85. 14 kilometers to go. Am I letting the peloton get too close? I still have energy for this. But you're attacking me. Okay, I'll follow. I'll follow along. But that is stupid, you know? That's stupid. Skok, you should not be doing that because you are just ruining us, ruining our chances and not <sighs> relay because now you are done. You are done now and the peloton is closer. 10 kilometers. God damn it. I need to use the aerodynamic positioning. And there we go. He cannot follow us with the aerodynamic positioning. Ah, uh, but they are coming so fast. They are coming so fast. I'm not going to be able to win this, I think. There's too many of them. What are we going to do? Master Skywalker. Okay, we're holding. Let's use the energy gel. Let's use the energy gel. Let's actually use this camera so I don't actually need to be pressing that key for all this time. Ah, oh, this is going to be so freaking tight. Three kilometers. I need to lower the pace a bit, a bit. I'm not going to hold it. God damn it. God damn it. 75. Come on. Two kilometers. Two freaking kilometers. 1.5. I'm not going to be able to. <laughs> Final kilometer. Can I win this? Can I still win it? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Sprint. No. No. Oh, God damn it. God damn it. Oh. This was so close. This was so close. Mikel Aristi, I have no clue who you are. He took it from me and I didn't even get eight. I failed on that as well. I finished 9th only. No! <laughs> the Young Link Slayer 3000 is activating. <laughs> oh, and, oh, yeah, this was sad. This was sad. Let's put some hanger in here. Let's do it even better. Let's use this one. Where is it? Let's use this one. This, this is Mario Angrier. Hello, Richards. The sprinters win once again. Yeah. How are you doing? Welcome in, man. Welcome in. Oh, I mean, we got... But this was so close. Maybe I went 85 for too long. I think what actually ruined it was when that other guy attacked. Maybe I should not have followed him. If I didn't follow, maybe I wouldn't have wasted that many that much energy. I thought about that. 
I still thought about that, but um, and I think I was I was not even the best rider in my team. I think I was overtaken by someone else. Or uh, uh, no, actually not. Rafael Silva was only 12. Not the rider I would expect to see as the best. Wait, how is Samuel Caldera? What? He's 37 years old. I thought this guy was my, was far younger. He's almost my age. Okay, anyway. Gonna take a little break. Back in a few minutes. You do that. You do that, Abuelo. No worries. See you in a bit. Five more points. It would be nice to actually get to level 12 before Volta Portugal. It won't happen before the, the national championships, but at least before Volta Portugal, that would be nice. It's not impossible. Is it? I don't know. Maybe I won't be able to do that. I won't have that many races. Okay, so ooh, this is going to be tough. This is going to be tough. I'm currently fourth in the GC, second in the KOMs. Wow. <laughs> Are they going to tell me to go into breakaway again? Chavez. I love the fact that Ethan Aether was the main favorite for the sprint stage and now for this one as well. Juan Ayuso. Interesting. Yeah, going back to to the Giro, we were talking about João Almeida. I think it definitely stands a chance to, to fight for the win. But my bet is on Simon Yates. I think... Honestly, actually, let me check this quickly because I don't remember how many kilometers of time trial there are. But I feel like Simon Yates is is in in good shape um and i think he has stuff to settle with the giro d'italia after what happened in 2018 when he was leaving apparently it was his to lose and and yeah he lost it he definitely lost it so let me just check this quickly 28 it's not that much not that much Carapaz for the win. We'll see. We'll see. I think he... Carapaz... I mean, he's a great rider. He's an Olymp Olympic champion. Um, winner of the Giro already. But I think that he tends to... to kind of eclipse himself when people expect him to do well. I don't know. Maybe... Don't underestimate João with that. Oh, I haven't seen his haircut. Is it better than mine? Cause, cause like, look, look at this. Look at this. This, this is nothing. I, I definitely need to to get a haircut. Cause this is way too long. Look at the size of my hair. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. He is less gray. Wow! Wow, Richards! <laughs> this is not gray hair. <laughs> this is from the light. You see, if I cover, if I cover the light, it gets darker. See? You see? I am getting old. I am getting old. I have a couple of white hair. Uh, but <laughs> it's okay, Richards. It's, it's okay. I know you're kidding. Um, take the breakaway at the start. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. My teammates are all in great shape. Let's attack. Oh, Skok, you're coming with me again. You are coming in a breakaway again. Nice. Try to cooperate a bit more this time. Is leaving the... The mountain classification. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> Was this always here? Were these things always here? 
I did not know you could actually have this overall standing mountain standing because sometimes I can I get confused with which one is which and I had no idea this was actually there was a tooltip here okay good to know good to know I'm twice your age well I'm, I'm not twice your age <laughs> uh and I have more hair than you <laughs> uh, and I need to urgently get a haircut okay let's allow the other rider to to join us Head. let's go down to 50 because Skok isn't doing anything in, anyway okay we got here you got here so let's work together now to get some oh you're attacking are you ah, i see i see i know why you are attacking because there was an intermediate sprint and i did not see it i did not see it no no i'm not 60 i am not 60. i'm closer to 60 than to zero that is for sure. <laughs> uh, I'm okay with my age. I'm actually fine with my age. And honestly, yes, uh, yesterday, no, not, not yesterday, but earlier this week, uh, me and my wife were looking at some old pictures. Well, not very old, but we were looking at pictures. Can we say that? Pictures are always technically old because I'm, I'm over 25. I am over 25. <laughs> so we were looking at some pictures and she was not agreeing on that. She thought, oh, no, I, I'm looking old and, you know, those kinds of things. But uh, I was telling her that I actually think that we are both of us aging quite nicely that it's not very evident that um that we are almost 40 years old so yeah i think i think i'm pretty okay with with how i am okay are they going to start the sprint oh this guy is this guy is Let's sprint as well. I, am I being blocked? Well, Skok apparently is not interested in, in those points. And we got two more seconds. We got two more seconds. <clears throat> I'm aging so pretty. <laughs> no, but I think, I think we are... I mean, especially considering that our kids completely drive us nuts and we lose years of life with them complaining about stuff and not wanting to do what we ask them to do and all of that considering that i think we are doing pretty okay we are doing pretty okay good genes good genes which means that our kids will have twice the good genes twice as many it's not how it works but shh, doesn't matter that does not matter at all kick their asses <laughs> then they'll take them for me some people might consider that a win-win situation <laughs> that you get your kids taken away from you <laughs> but i would i would enjoy keeping them around for a few more years. <laughs> ah, but it, they, they do drive us nuts very, very often. Especially my son. Oh, so crazy. So crazy. Like he, he sometimes starts crying just because. And there's no logical reason for that. Like, if he gave me a logical reason for that, or for not doing what I'm asking him to do. Sure, okay, fine. Whatever. It, if it's logical, I'm fine with that. 
But when there is no reason for that, it's so crazy. Okay, let's try to follow Skok. Attacking for the KOM. Per is leading. Let's wait, let's wait, let's wait. And let's attack ourselves now. I cannot take that. That Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I was first. I think I won this. Didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, I did. I won. I'm leading the mountain classification. Probably won't after the next one, but hey. It's, it's the little wins, the little victories. They're three and eight. They're three and eight. No, I'm, I'm okay with saying that. I'm too nice to be a dad. <laughs> you would have... You, oh, forgot about this again. I'm also leading the points classification. Even even if I forget about the the sprints. But uh that's totally fine. That is totally fine. I'm also collecting some nice bonus seconds. The problem is that Skok is probably also Oh, he's actually this this guy might go into the lead of the GC if he actually doesn't lose time at the end of the stage. How crazy is that? So you would you would find a logical uh, reason for everything. I'm fine. I mean, I might not accept that. Or or no, that's not the correct. Yeah, I might not accept it, but at least I I can try to understand, and that's that's what I cannot do when there's no logic behind some some actions. Let's get some water, and let's get some water in real life as well. Uh, yeah, so <clears throat> going back to the Jiro, I was saying I feel like Simon Yates is a he is the main favorite in my opinion. Although it doesn't really have a great team to support him, bike exchange is not as strong as they used to be. They lost, in my opinion, quite a lot of quality. I mean, the main, the major helper in the climbing stages will be, I think, Lucas Hamilton. And there is nothing much uh, other than that, other than him. Um, so that that might be the Achilles heel of, of Simon Yates. But I think he's in great shape. He wants to win that race, just even if it's only to prove himself that he can do it. Okay, let's sprint. Let's go on the wheel of pair. Come on, come on, come on, let's sprint. No. <laughs> All right. All right. I tried it. I tried it. It wasn't to be. <laughs> it wasn't meant to be. But let's try to catch him just so we can then work with him. Is he pushing like crazy? He was pushing like crazy. Okay, one minute, it's only the two of us. Skok is now in the peloton. <laughs> Hydrate. Oh, is it? And as I look to the chat, pair attacks. Perfect. 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 Not perfect. It would be nice to actually be with him. Oh, that was a weird move. It would be nice to be with him in the climb, but... Uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to be caught by by the peloton. They're just here. Let's go up to 85. Just try to survive. No, I'm not trying to block the peloton. That's not my goal. 
Ooh, I need to go up. Faster. Faster. You know, X is setting a really strong pace. Pear is being caught as well. And now we have Chris Lawless on the attack. No, that was just, he was just pushing. There he goes again. Another push. Come on, 3k. I cannot hold this. I need to drop a bit further back in the peloton. Oh man. I'm not going to make it. Let's use the energy gel. I think I'm going to be dropped. This is not nice. Maybe I can come back in the downhill if I get dropped. You're sabotaging me. <laughs> I know, I know. That's that's your only purpose in life. That is your only purpose in life. <laughs> oh, come on. I'm going to get dropped. There's the KOM. Come on, come on, come on. Do I get it? Do I, did I survive? I think I did. Let's make sure we stay here. Come on. I'm, am I going to be dropped now in this section? Oh, I cannot believe this. Ah, oh, no. No. Please, guys. Please, guys. Let's come back. Let's come back. We're almost there. We're about to catch them. But now I'm in A in A2. Great. Let's go 85, 5 kilometers, 6 kilometers. I've already used my energy gel. God, come on, and these guys are not working that hard. They are dynamic positioning. Come on. Can I still get to them? Oh, that final climb is 1.8 kilometers, but my, if I can hold it, no, we're not going to get there. No. Oh, and that's super steep. That is super steep. I'm already seeing it and I'm going to lose so much time. <laughs> okay. There goes the GC for me. There goes the GC. Unless they kind of manage to connect the groups and this finishes like this. I don't know who is going to win the stage. Anton Charmig. So Uno X did their job properly. Rafael Maika and Esteban Chavez uh, rounding up the podium of the stage. You know what? Maybe, just maybe, there might be a gap just in front of me. Uh, just like my kids. Just like my kids. Yeah, they sabotage my life. No, poor me. Poor me. Let's see results. Charmic wins it. And no gaps, no gap. Ah, oh, there's a gap here. There is a gap here, 44 seconds. And there's another one there, 152. And there's another one there. I lose two and a half minutes. Ah, oh. okay. Well, more freedom for the breakaway. I tried my best. I tried my best. No, no, but I, I have I have something that allows it doesn't allow me to say that. See? See? Can you can you read it? My wife is perfect. There you have it. <laughs> My wife is perfect. Also also uh, underneath this, and you cannot say it, but there's a, another sentence, another short one, saying she bought me this T-shirt, which is actually true. She bought me this this T-shirt. 
<laughs> it's not a guaranteed bypass, but yeah, I try I try to use it as that. I try to use it as that. <laughs> also, again, yeah, I, I keep getting distracted with, with other things, but um, going back to the Jiro once again. So as I said, Simon Yates is my favorite. Um, but of course, Richard Carapage is one of the big favorites and with a big, strong team with him. And another one, I think, could be Pello Bilbao. I think more than Mikel Landa, I think Pello Bilbao can actually have a say in, in the fight for, for the win. It depends on how he, is. he usually tends to have like one bad day or at least one bad day in the mountains, but is is very, very decent in the time trials. Um, so Pedro Bilbao is probably also going to be in contention. No, no, João, João, obviously. But you mean, why is João not, not my favorite? I mean, my favorite in terms of the one I think is going to win. Of course, I would love to, to see João uh, winning and I will definitely be supporting him but uh, I think that Simon Yates is going to be the one who wins it and of course we talked about João before and I think he's, he's one of the main favorites as well um, just not the one I mean it's like call it a feeling or a hunch or something yeah I, I also believe he can do it I just believe Simon Yates can do it more. I don't know. João, João is a very unusual rider in, in the mountains, in the way he rides, because he doesn't immediately respond in, in that regard, is the absolute opposite of Simon Yates. Simon Yates is much more offensive, and he, he goes after attacks uh, much more often. Um, João, no. Uh, João just just keeps his pace and he gets to them. I have seen a picture. Where did I see that? I have seen a picture of that. I have. I think I saw it on on Twitter. Um, I have seen that. It, it's saying like Giro era o João ganhar. Era ver o João a ganhar. <laughs> That's actually really cool. I haven't seen them live because, uh, yeah, I haven't been in Lisbon. Actually, it's been more more than two months since I've been to Lisbon. I'm stuck in Martinsul. Ah, oh, we have a minus two today, and I need to go into breakaway again. Am I leading? Oh, I'm leading the points and the mountain classification. Absolutely glorious. Okay, let's attack from the start. Let's wait for people to join us. No, not three. Okay, another one and another one. Now, please be the ones making it. What, well, Rafael? Oh, come on, you're ruining this. Will you? Can I send them? No, I cannot. What the heck are you doing here? And we got caught. Perfect. Perfect. He's obviously, obviously not a seasoned PCM player because he should know that four rider groups are not allowed in the breakaway. I need to save some energy. Oh, there goes Rafael. Can I follow him? Can I follow him? And maybe have a teammate in the breakaway? No, we are going to be caught. We are going to be caught. And I'm so out of energy already. 
I think this one, yeah, I'm not going in the, in the regular in this one. Ah, uh, okay. No worries. No worries. It gives you so much joy what, watching this recognition that is uh, that he is getting. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. For many, many years, like the only thing that would matter in Portugal was basically Volta Portugal. And, and I think even Volta Portugal was not as important as it once was. Um, so it's actually great for, for the sports in the country and maybe helps other other kids wanting to, to do the same, wanting to do the same as, as he is doing. Go for the win. Not in this one. Not in this one. I was not allowed to go in the in the breakaway. I'll try an attack. Maybe in that final hill before the finish line. Maybe I can try that. That's about 10 kilometers. 15 maybe from the bottom of that climb. We'll see. We'll see. No volume due to your boss being here. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't. I definitely don't want you to to get in in trouble. So yeah, if you are just watching, good. <laughs> Take my thumbs up. Do I have a shortcut for the thumbs up? No, I don't. Okay. No worries. I need to reorganize my stream deck. Um, I have a few more shortcuts. Okay, so there's points only for the top three. Is Skok in the breakaway? He is not. Good. This means that I will keep the jersey after the stage. Most likely. Oh, we are seven minutes down. Yeah, this would have been a good stage for me to to be in the breakaway. We have a teammate there, but yeah. Whoops, 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 whoops. Up the effort, Zakadish, up the effort. Don't get dropped from the peloton. So this is stage three, right? Yes, stage three. Let me look at quickly look at the other stages. So the next one, ooh, the next one is really tough. That's quite a challenging finish. And then we have a flat uh, stage to, to end the race with some cobbles, but yeah, those should be very mild cobbles. Nothing that will make me shine i mean i'm i'm an i have a northern classic secondary axis but i don't have that much of a cobble stat 72 doesn't make me stand out so i'm actually enjoying the the progression of my rider um, i've seen a, i don't know if it's related with with the uh, the potential level that I chose. It might be related with that. But um, I like that in the middle of the second season, I'm not beating everyone. Like some people win. Well, they don't win Grand Tours in the second season because most likely they will not be in them. But they win major races in, in the second season already. And sometimes it, it feels like the riders are too OP. But I'm I'm enjoying the progression of my rider. It seem, seems a bit realistic. Even his time trial being at 77. Still pretty, pretty decent. And because of the low resistance with only 67. It makes it much harder to, to be good in, in long time trials or when the, the opposition is is a bit stronger i do hope so saying that i do hope that i can win the the national championship 
the time trial national championship this uh, this season. So it's going to be just after the Tour of Slovenia. And I do hope I can win that. So yeah, I I will mention it again and maybe I don't know, Diogo, do you play um do you play Velo games? Or do you know what Velo games are? Cuz I I mentioned it earlier in the in the stream that I created a league for for people on the Discord server. Um, I'll, I'll post it here again um, and the code is there so as you are a cycling fan maybe maybe you are familiar with, with that and maybe you want to join everyone can join even if you don't know anything about cycling I mean there's actually no reason why you should know uh, why you should not participate it, it could be fun. It could be fun. But uh, it's going to be a, a cool, fun way to, to follow the race. And to, as I said, and to brag when you win or to hide when you lose. I have created some leagues as well last season. I didn't announce any prizes. I, I don't know if I'm going to give away any prizes. I haven't decided that yet. But uh, it's basically just for fun. So not really a competitive thing. Just It's just to get the bragging rights. Basically for that. So my teammate, Rafael Silva, is being caught. I am definitely not going to be able to attack because the peloton is going crazy fast nine k to go or i'm not going to be able to attack like this i'm going to try something because i know i cannot sprint but if I use my energy gel and then if I use the aerodynamic positioning, maybe I can be fast enough. <laughs> I don't know. Like if I follow Gazzoli. I follow Gazzoli. Let's try it. No, I wasn't able to. And they are sprinting already. Yeah, this... I, I was distracted. And I now I'm stuck. Wow. Now I'm stuck. Okay, yeah. Never mind. Never mind. I was not even able to do this. I was so distracted thinking about what to do. So... <laughs> Ethan Aether wins the stage. My point here was that if I cannot sprint, maybe if I go... Uh, effort cursor 99 maybe I can eventually contend I, I might be faster <laughs> I might be faster like that although I think the sprint always gives you the the top speed you can go at I think that's the point of of the sprinting stat anyway we finished in 24th. Okay. Let's check the results. So after three stages, we are... Yeah, we are nowhere in the GC because of that second stage. We are no longer leading the, the points classification. Ah, oh, and we... We lost the lead in the mountain classification. Frederick Dvernes, uh, Nor Norwegian from UNOX, is now leading two points ahead of me. So I do need to go in the breakaway in the next one. Again. 
to make sure make sure I can get that classification from the profile there should be plenty of of KOM points in in that stage in the fourth About the sprints in the Giro, what do you think? Caleb Ewan or Mark Cavendish? I feel like Cavendish is not the 2021 Tour de France Cavendish. And Caleb Ewan is Caleb Ewan. So I think Caleb Ewan will have the, the edge. We also have Arnaud Demar, but Demar is definitely not... Uh, doing amazingly well this season so far, so it might it might not be able to to win that much. And I don't remember who else is is in the race. Honestly, I don't remember who the other sprinters are. I heard stuff about him not going to the Tour de France. That Fabio Jakobsen would go to the Tour de France. And I don't know if they are going to take the two of them. I mean, honestly, it would be a shame if he wasn't even given the chance to to break the records. But um, but I don't know. They would write history, absolutely, absolutely. Um, I kind of blamed. I think I think it was in stage nineteen. In, in the Tour last season. Um, the record was already equaled by then. Let's go to the race. The record the record was had already been matched by then. And stage 19, sure, it was after the mountain stages and it was before the time trial. But it was a, a stage that could, could have been... Um, a sprint, a mass sprint finish. But Quickstep was not very interested in that. <clears throat> yeah, he definitely did. He definitely did. He deserves, he deserves the chance to to break the record. Absolutely, he does. But I kind of blame Quickstep for not for that not happening last year. Because in my mind, they thought, okay, we can beat he can beat the record in stage 19, which is just another regular stage in the Tour de France, or he can become the rider with the most wins in the Tour de France in the final day in the Champs Elysees. That would, of course, be amazing, but it didn't happen. So they kind of missed one chance because I think, I mean, in my mind, it's it's just me. They, they blew a chance because they wanted to happen. They wanted it to happen in the final day of the, of the tour, of the tour. But, um, this is just me guessing. Yeah, I might be completely wrong. I might be completely wrong. Okay. So I need to go in the breakaway again. Let's sneak and attack, sneak and attack. But it, it was such an amazing story, like no one in a million years would imagine, would imagine that, um, that Mark Cavendish would win another stage in the tour and he won like what, four or five, something like that. I think it was four. It's just unreal unreal oh wait no wait for me Idar anderson wait for us wait for us i thought he was going to stay with us okay because we are three now so we can actually make this work if the peloton catches the others oh there's eight riders now come on come on and pedro andrade you actually want me to work for you 
Are you serious? Uh, is actually being serious. Oh, the peloton is letting letting us go. Huh. Okay. Sure. Why not? Why not? Let's conserve energy. Yeah, he was not able to hold in regional races. And a few months later, he was winning tour stages. It's unreal. It is unreal. Great story. He has a great story to tell his kids. <laughs> or to tell his grandkids. I don't know if he has kids and what age they are. I know what you mean, but I, I don't know. I don't really want to go there. I don't really want to go there. Naive me wants to believe that everything, that no one cheats and that everything is, is just perfect. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's obviously, yep, I did not sprint. Because why should I, right? And now in a group of eight, am I, am I going to be able to, let's go to the wheel of Pedro Andrade. Let's go to the wheel of my teammate. Try to save as much energy as I can. Yeah, there will always be suspicious suspicion. He had to do it on his own. Oh, they are attacking so much. You think Caleb would have won a lot more if he had a decent train to lead him? Also, if he... Yeah, I cannot beat these guys in, in going for this. So let's just stick around on the wheel of Pedro Andrade. Um, also, he, his hat is big share, a big share of crashes. He's had his share of crashes. Um, that has not helped. Well, let's get some water then. Let's get water to Pedro. Um, he's had a lot of crashes in in Grand Tours. So he's, he's had a, a bit of bad luck. Yeah, I don't know if it's the train or just himself not positioning well. But yeah, his main problem is position positioning. So maybe that's related with... Uh, with a train. I never actually thought about that, but yeah, you might be right. You might be right. Um, when he is in a good position, it is so, so hard to, to beat him. It is super, super hard to beat him. But yeah, he often, he often fails to be in the correct position. By the way, do you know, does anyone know if, are we sprinting for this? Are we still going to get some bonus points? Oh, haha, -ha. we were second in, in this, but we're 10 points behind Ethan Aether. So I don't think, ooh. So I don't think I can, um, win the points classification. He'll never forget his crash in the tour. Yeah.
I, I don't remember that. I was not really following cycling back, back then. I mostly came back to, to watching cy cycling, to following cycling uh, in 2018, in the 2018 season. Because before that, there was a long period during which I was not following cycling that much. Oh, this climb is so, so damn tough. Let's go to the Wheel of Pedro again. Okay. Let's make sure we hold. There's still so many kilometers to the end. Uh, let's try to follow the attack because I don't want to lose contact with the group. Okay. We are still here. We're still alive. I don't even know what the goal is for me. I, I think it's just basically try my best in to, to complete the kilometers in the breakaway. I need to be here for 27 more kilometers. It's time to work. How does this guy have the nerve to ask me to work for him? Crazy. You were wrong? 2017? Okay. Could that be why he actually... Oh, we're now the ones working. Could that have had anything to do with with him then stopping to perform? Because I think the first... Oh, not Sagan. Not Sagan. Sagan doesn't do anything wrong. Don't say that. Sniff. <laughs> um, are these... Uh, okay, so... This is the same climb as this. Okay. Um, what was I saying? Ah, I think the first season he was at Quebec. <clears throat> or at the time, it was Dimension Data, right? Uh, in the first season he was there, he actually won a stage in the Tour. Was it 2016, his first stage? His, his first season there. It was half blame to each one. Okay. Okay. Let's try to follow these attacks. Just to make sure we stay in the group. And we are still in the group. So let's conserve energy. In the downhill. My teammate is now gone and we have completed the breakaway objective. Perfect. Hello Slocum. How are you doing? Welcome in. Hope you're having a great Thursday. Yeah. Did I ask already? Ah, yeah, I, I don't know if I asked or if I was going to ask and then stopped. Um, does anyone know if Sagan is injured at the moment? Because he has missed quite a lot of races he was supposed to ride. I don't know if he's injured or sick or something. I am not, not sure. I am excited for the Giro. I am absolutely. I think this is probably the race in the season for which I'm the most excited for. And I think the sentence was not properly constructed, but I think you understood what I meant. Because <laughs> um, I love Grand Tours and it's the first one of the season. So yeah, it, it's been a long time since we've had the previous one. Because by the time it gets to La Vuelta, I'm, I'm a bit tired of, of cycling. And I think this happens with a lot of people. So I don't usually follow La Vuelta as closely as, as the other ones. The Tour is the Tour. 
But the Jiro, I love it and I'm so, so excited uh, every time uh, for it. So I am definitely hyped. I am doing well, I am doing well. Thank you. I can check the, the crash on the link. Then let me do something. Let me copy this. Let me copy this and paste it here, uh, here, and perfect. Then I will check it after the stream. Thank you. Oh, yet Corona. God damn it. Isn't it like the second time he gets it? I think it I think he had it before. As far as you know, a tough round. It's also oh, no. Again, you guys, you guys in the chat, you kill me cuz I was looking at the chat. <laughs> you know I lost touch with with the other riders. I mean, not that I'm going to do anything in, in this stage. I'm obviously not going to win it. But uh, it's also your favorite Grand Tour. Yeah, I think it's my favorite Grand Tour. The start list is not as full stacked. Uh, is not as stacked as the, the one in the Tour de France. But it's still a pretty decent start list. A very, very good start list, I would say. several riders to fight for the GC. It's always much, much open, much more open than the Tour. And I mean, we already know who is going to win the Tour. It, it's either going to be a Slovenian or a Slovenian. Because I, I honestly cannot, cannot see any other way. I'm pretty sure Pogacar is going to win his third. But if it's not him, it's going to be Roglic. So, so crazy. They were caught unaware and Ineos wrote hard. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I was also caught unaware. No, Ineos did a, a very good race in, in Flanders. They did uh, a very, very good race. Wait, was it in Flanders? Or in in Roubaix. No, Van Barle won Roubaix. It was Roubaix. No, it was Roubaix. I think it was Paris Roubaix. Ah, <laughs> oh, there were some intermediate sprint points there I could have taken. Damn it! I think I didn't take any. No, I I could just ride my own tempo right until the end because 10.9 percent right good luck good luck with that mario good luck well not mario zacarias because he is the one doing it even this is too hard 55 50 i'm still losing energy <laughs> ah Let's use the energy gel and let's use the aerodynamic positioning. Because why not? And trying to recover some energy. My rider is such a mess in, in climbs. Let's check what's happening up the road, Rafael Maika is fourth in the GC, four seconds behind. It's the Uno X rider at the front, right? Oh, Maika is going for the win. Rafael Maika with an attack and leaving everyone on their seats. We have Ethan Ather trying to. Are you actually asking for help? It's Maika versus Hather. And Rafael Maike is going to win it. 
Rafael Maika wins it and probably wins, yeah, absolutely wins the, the Tour of Slovenia. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, let's just go at like 35 with no energy. How the heck do I lose seven minutes or more? Eight minutes in that final bit. The Vuelta is your favorite Grand Tour. Really underrated. It's it's quite spectacular. I mean, with those short climbs at the end, there's quite a lot of action. As I said, it's not that I don't like it. It's just more that it's at the end of the season. It's after. No, is it after? No, it's before the World Championships. It's before. Um, so, yeah, forget about that. Um, but it's close to the end of the season. We just had the Tour a bit before that. So I'm usually a bit tired of cycling by then or not as hyped by then. Yeah. There is loads of action, loads of action with those very, very punchy finishes. Not as many long or high altitude climbs. But um, but it it is quite, quite spectacular, quite spectacular. That's what I meant. Rafael Maika is today's winner. So we ended up losing 8 minutes and 18. Wow. We still went up in the GC. Because we were 74th or something around that. And we are now 54th. Hooray. <laughs> Hooray. Okay, I have one more chance to win a stage. At least I got 5 points. Good for new talents to shine. You think Ayuso will start to shine there this year? Yeah. I think so. Isn't isn't João also planned to I know, but no, Pogacar. Pogacar is planned to go to La Volta. But I think if he wins the tour, he's not going to try to win La Volta as well. Or maybe he is. I mean, Chris Froome did that quite a few times, going, winning the tour and then going to La Vuelta. He isn't scheduled to go there yet. I thought that Juan was scheduled for uh, La Vuelta as well, but I am not sure about that. What I have seen in pro cycling stats is that uh, Pogacar is supposed to go to La Vuelta. Now, I don't know how realistic that is, how true that is. It would probably be harder for him to win the, the Vuelta than, than it is to, to win the Tour for Pogacar. Because that definitely suits Roglic much more. <clears throat> João will be in the Giro only, okay. Ah, I don't know. I don't know, easy. It could be... It could be a thing. I mean, Froome did that. Froome did that in that amazing performance, unbelievable performance in the Giro d'Italia after struggling for two and a half weeks, coming out of nowhere and doing what he did in that amazing stage all by himself. Uh, he did win the three Grand Tours in a row. So maybe, maybe we'll try that. Not this year? Okay. 
but I did see him in pro cycling stats. I saw that he was in the provisional start list, but I mean, it's a long, long way to go. I guess that if he wins the tour, he will not go so that Roglic can win <laughs> La Vuelta. <laughs> so that they can stay in, in good terms. Try to score points in intermediate sprints. Okay. There's no points, because I'm... That's stupid. Yeah, I'm... Th <laughs> Come on, seriously, I'm 30 points away. Well, I mean, if I win the stage, I could. I'll go into breakaway again and see how this goes. Let's sneak and try it. Oh, I have a joke. I have a joke I want to make. I want a joke. Look at this guy. Did we invite him for a picnic? <laughs> I know, I know. Let's, let's just... Ah, uh, we're going to be caught by the breakaway, by the peloton, aren't we? They are actually not chasing us. They are actually not chasing us. Roglic let Pogacar win a stage in the Volta when he started to become relevant. Yeah, that in that season. Wait. So the, the first time Pogacar went to La Vuelta was in 2019. Yeah. And in 2019, did Roglic win the GC in 2019. Yeah, he did. He did. He had been in the Giro. He was third in the Giro. Behind Carapaz and Nibali. And... And then he went to the Vuelta. He won the Vuelta. Valverde was second, right? And... Pogacar third. If I recall correctly. Yep. He let Pogacar win a stage where both of them let everyone behind. I think I have that. I, I think I'm visualizing that currently. Okay, so we have a five rider group. Let's make this happen. How am I in the mountain classification? 10 points behind. Ah, uh, no. Oh, wait, there's 12 points. I would have to win probably the two of them, because if I only get second in one and first in the other, I'll be tied and I don't know if I win. And there's no way I'm going, even though, yeah, it did came to the picnic, uh, even though they might not be great. There's for sure someone here that can beat me to that KOM. Oh man, that Parini is finished. But you know, when when I saw that live, I I was a bit upset, and I think that was the general consensus. Everyone was like, "Oh, you shouldn't have done that. You should have allowed." Gino made there to, to win the stage. Um, but to be honest, I mean, he's paid to win races. And the, tr the truth is that every single time that now that clip is, is played on Eurosport, are they going to attack for the KOM? They are not. They are not. Okay, so no one is attacking for the KOM. <gasps> oh, this is just perfect. I don't even know, need to, to do anything to win this. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. 
perfect. But every single time that clip is now on Eurosport with that music, it is so, so cool. It's like everything is going okay. Mayder is going to win the stage and then... And he attacks, he launches the attack and just kills everyone. It's it's so relentless, but it's it's actually quite cool. You think the people in the car decide something like that? Uh, like when you attack, probably, probably. They probably told him that he could attack and that he could go for the stage. It would also be like. Let's imagine that he would allow. Coming from behind, he would get to, to Mather and it would allow allow him to win. Because the situation is a bit different than, than when it happened with Pagachar. Because when it happened with Pagachar, they were together going at around the same pace, at about the same pace. It was completely completely different in this situation. He attacked, you can even say that he attacked to gain time in the GC, and there was no reason for him to stop his pace just because there was another rider that was about to win the stage and you should deserve your stage wins as well so in a way initially i was upset but now looking in re retrospect i think i am glad that he did not allow me there to win But yeah, I mean, for him, it was just another win that he would forget quite easily. And for Mayder, it would at the time be his first um, World Tour win. He's such a winner that he wants to win all races. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. So when he feels like he can win, he will go for it. Yeah. They let Laporte, but it was it was a team thing, and they were not actually losing time. I mean, he lost time because of the the bonus point, the bonus seconds. But it's a bit different. It's a bit different. And in that situation, Laporte kind of contributed to to that to that outcome. And it was different in in terms of when it was happening with Mader. Because if he stopped, he would not have gained so much time in, in the GC. It would still not matter, because he would probably still crash the following day. But then again, if he had crashed on the following day, maybe if he had allowed Mader to win that stage, maybe the peloton would behave differently. And maybe they would have waited for him, something like that. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, they were from the same team. It's It's different. It's a bit different. Um, I was going to say something I totally forgot. Ah, I was also remembering like after in 2020 when he lost the the tour. Okay, I need to pay attention because I need to move to the front of the group to get the KOM points. Um, when he lost the tour in the time trial on the Planche de Belfi, he, he won Liège, like, what, a week after that? Maybe less than a week after that? Okay, we they are not attacking, so we are going to cross the line, and we are going to take the KOM. We are going to take the KOM competition. Oh, man, this is crazy. This is so nuts. Um, he won Liège. And then I saw a video of, of the team having dinner and at the end he was having a speech and he was saying something like, well, apparently I can still win some races or, or something like that. It was, it was actually quite funny. Hello, Theo. Good what? God, what? Is that, is that good afternoon in Swedish? Is that good afternoon in Swedish? Welcome in, man. How are you doing? Hope you're having a great day. 
Could you imagine if they would have lost Paris? <laughs> yeah, that that would be that would be a bit devastating. But I think they felt pretty confident on on his ability. Danish isn't I always think that Danish and Swedish and even Norwegian are very very similar. And the reason for me to to think that oh, one of our teammates just crashed crashed. Um <clears throat> the reason for me to think that is that I clearly remember from <laughs> From playing Football Manager many years ago, I don't play it as often as I used to, but I clearly remember to see that players, okay, they are also not going for the sprints, so I'll take them. Uh, players from one of those three countries, Sweden, uh, Norway and Denmark, they would more often than not speak the three languages so that's why i think they are very they are but not the same okay but the, i was saying swedish because theo it's not a secret you've said this before during the stream during streams uh, theo is swedish so that's why i was saying it Or maybe he isn't. Is he? I think he is. Yeah, Swedish. <laughs> I was correct. I was correct. You were wrong. Sorry, this this was cringe. This is what I'm learning from my kids. Actually, they don't do that too often. Let's try to get these points again by just cruising past the line. And okay. You have said, I know, I know, but old man, old man brain. But I did remember, I did remember. Danish, Swedish and Finnish are close like Portuguese and Brazil. No, Portuguese and Brazilian is just... No, no, I think there are... I... Sorry, Diogo. <laughs> I think, I think I was going to explain... <clears throat> I was going to explain you the difference between Portuguese and Brazilian. <laughs> but I, I guess that you know the difference. Um, but I think, yeah, Finnish is very, very different. Um, gray hair brain. <laughs> gray hair brain. <clears throat> they are very close to each other. Yeah. But no, I think it's more maybe like Portuguese and Galician. I think that's more like that. There are a few differences between the languages, but not that much. I also know some Swedish. Uh, I know some Swedish. I know Mala, or maybe it's not like how you say it. I know uh, they are attacking. These guys are attacking. Of course, these are not. Um, and I know. Oh God damn it! I don't know. I'm trying to remember names of of IKEA furniture <laughs> because that's basically what I know about Swedish. I know lame. <laughs> My wife went to Norway. Uh, she spent two weeks there. What was the name of the place she was in? Right. 
Totally forgot. Oh, we have the cobbles. It's one star. Cobblestone zero. And now I'm being dropped. Perfect. Perfect. Just what I needed. Uh, she went to, to Norway a few years ago for a... Uh, it was not a summer school because it was not in summer. It was in spring. But it was in a ski resort. Quite fancy. Quite fancy. She absolutely loved it. And then she said that she finally could say she had seen proper snow in her life. Because <laughs> in Portugal we barely have any snow. We barely have any snow. Okay, are you stopping? Really? Let's attack. Let's attack. Let's try to get these guys behind. And effort cursor. This did not work as I intended. Aerodynamic positioning. Seven K thirty seconds ahead of the peloton. Are you working with me? Oh, I cannot do this by myself. I'm going too fast. It would be nice to have you now helping me, but you are uh, <laughs> a back marker. 4.5 kilometers. Yeah, I'm way, way low on energy. Way too low on energy. I cannot do this. The fjords look so beautiful from the videos you've seen on YouTube. Yeah, I'm being caught. Because I was looking at the chat. Not that I would win the stage anyway. We actually finish in a small group. The peloton is a bit behind. And the winner is going to be... Jonas Kok. Kok? Kosh? Ko Kosh? Let's say Kosh. It's safer. Ahead of Rick Zavall and Manuel Peñalver. Denmark isn't even real. Yeah, Denmark is going to have the start of the TDF, right? Okay, so we didn't get any stage wins. Uh, but we win the, the mountain classification. That's nice. That's nice. Micah, I think, wins the, the GC. You already picked out your spots. Are you going to be able to to follow the the stages in in Denmark? How many are there going to be in in there? Is it like two, three? <laughs> I think only Theo and and Slocum are are Scandinavian. Ah, you're going there as well. So the GC was won by Rafael Maika ahead of Ethan Nater and Ben Zvioff. Zvioff. What the heck is Maloja Pushbikers? They also have Rick Zabel and Mauro Fineto. Is this a real team or is it a fake team that was created for the second season? I'm not sure. Maybe it is actually a real team. Ah, uh, yeah, we were 14 points behind Ethan Nater in the points classification, but we won the mountain, <laughs> the mountain jersey. And in the GC, I finished in 51st. Okay. We were the leaders in the second half of the top 100. So we won something. 31 more points. Let's move on and go to the national championships and try to win that. Austria with family in Norway. 
yeah, Belgium from Hong Kong. And well, I hope, Theo, that you actually don't miss your trip because two weeks, three weeks, you better know the, the proper dates for that. <laughs> You're joining the winners. <laughs> Ah, uh, that, <laughs> that is actually, that is actually a good solution. Just make sure that the winners know that you are joining them before, before you do. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, it's a school, a school trip. That's nice. That is actually nice. And yeah, most, most trips I have. Uh, when I was in school, we're just going from where I lived to, to Lisbon, which was like a one hour ride. So it was not that big. A lot more opportunities. Oh yeah. I mean, although, yeah, it's still a different language, but, uh, in Hong Kong, um, they ma mainly speak, uh, English. So it's a bit... A bit easier. You were going to Poland. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Wait, you're telling me that Russia has been doing something? Hmm? Yeah, they are doing something not so nice. You're going to Denmark to celebrate graduating. Elementary school? No, not elementary school. It's not elementary. Well, at least we don't call it elementary. We call, at least in Portugal, we call elementary school and only until fourth grade. Yeah, English is still the main language. Yeah, in Hong Kong, I mean, it, yeah, it was English, an English colony. I think they were transferred back to to China, still with autonomy for like 50 years. So do you, you know about Macau? Uh, although I think in Macau they didn't speak Portuguese as much as people in Hong Kong spoke uh, English. But Macau was, in, was a Portuguese colony or was under control of Portugal until I think 1999, 1999. Um, and I think Hong Kong was British until 1998. I think there, there was like a year of difference between the, the two of them going back to belonging to China, being given back to China. And there was an agreement of having autonomy, I think, for 50 years. But the Chinese government is more and more getting into the business of, of Hong Kong. So not really allowing them that much autonomy. Yeah, it's the same in Portugal, Lucas. It's the same in Portugal until it's from 6 to 10. Yeah, we, we would call that... It's not high school, because high school is... Um, 10th, 11th, and 12th grade. And then we call basic school uh, between 5th and 9th grade. We call it uh, like that in Portugal. He's a science guy. Well, I am kind of both. I like both. Science and, and history. They will elect a new leader here in Hong Kong soon. <laughs> you only have one person to... Ah... Uh... You study history of science, Lukas? 
to you you must know all all the physics Nobel prizes ever to have ever all the physicists who have ever won the the Nobel prize <clears throat> Also, you have a pretty great chance if you say the name of a German physicist from from the early 20th century. You have a pretty great chance of of actually nailing it because a German or at least German speaking physicists in the early 20th century. Wow, like wow. They won almost all of the Nobel Prizes. Or maybe I'm exaggerating a bit, but there, there were quite a few of them who actually won it. So, national championships, ITT, Portugal. We are not the main favorite. The main favorite is João Almeida. We are the second favorite. Yeah, is... Am I not going to win this still this year? He has 79 resistance. I cannot fight with that. I cannot fight against that. I need to have a great, um, a great race day condition. I'm in good fitness, but unfortunately not in a fitness peak. Unfortunately not in a fitness peak. Well, we'll see how this goes. Yeah, if you say Einstein, you can you can definitely win. Uh, get a few of them. <laughs> already correct <laughs> just history in german language science okay <laughs> just history einstein bohr um there are quite a few others actually i don't remember now. <laughs> einsteinium Objective, win the race. As simple as that, win the race. Like, it seems like we're, we're starting the time trial in the backyard of someone. What is the best, the best camera to actually see this? Yeah, this seems like the backyard of someone. Actually, there's a, a parking lot right here. Oh, there's a build. There's a larger building there. There's like um, an office building. I'm so sure that this is not real. <laughs> not realistic. What? Oh no! Wait, this is not a house. This is like just a. A thingy, a shelter, or whatever. Okay, interesting. This is this is like Portuguese Google, the offices of Portuguese Google. I'm making that up, by the way. If you did not realize that. You're the math science type. High school. Then it's gymnasium and then university. Wait, what? Okay, so we are going to start soon. <clears throat> I see that they push a bit hard on the beginning and then they allow the red bar to recuperate. But they are not spending that much energy there. It's a bit weird. They are being too conservative. Okay, and we are going to be the final rider. Let's go for this. José Neves is currently leaving. We are going to start behind uh, João Almeida. 
So let's see what we can do. Ah, okay. I see, I see. So let's start at 87. Let's push a bit at the beginning. Oh, wait, where? Come on. What is that guy doing there? Okay, I need to conserve a bit now. Let's go down to 80. Because I need to recuperate that energy. The gymnasium is 16, 17 to 19. Okay. Okay, okay. It's funny that gymnasium, I would never imagine that it could refer to what we call high school in actually in portuguese we say escola secundaria so secondary school so after basic there's elementary or primary school then there's basic school and secondary school and then university i need to lower the effort a bit more we're i'm 30 seconds behind ow it's Nelson Oliveira with the best time in the first checkpoint. I am so not going to win this. And I should not have pushed that hard from the start. Yeah, yeah, it it would be like there's there's something even worse. Like I'm oh I'm first in the second checkpoint. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait! I'm going to focus on this now, guys. I'm going to focus on this, and I will talk about what I think is even more ridiculous afterwards. I'll probably forget about that, but do not mind. Do not mind. Come on, come on. Can we do this? Can we get this? We are the fastest in the second checkpoint. Come on, I think I can push a bit harder. Let's go up to 80. Actually, let's go up to 85. Am I going too hard now? Come on. Come on. Final kilometer. Let's go up to 99. I think I should have pushed a bit earlier. Maybe not. <laughs> God damn it. Ah! Uh, eight seconds. Eight seconds. Fuck. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. We were close. <laughs> what did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? For fuck's sakes. We beat Joao Almeida, who was the other favorite. But not Nelson. He was probably in a very good day. I didn't even see the, the race day condition I had. Come on! Poor evaluation, because he wanted me to win. <laughs> this is so unfair. Michael, that is so not right. God damn it. Um, so going going back to what we were talking about, about having so many differences, uh, even though we are in the European Union, so it would make sense to have more similar education systems. I have I had a colleague 
at my lab. Uh, she had done her master's in Denmark, actually. She was Portuguese and she had done her master's degree. She had gotten her master's degree in Denmark. Then she came back to Portugal. She started to work in the lab and she applied for a PhD fellowship. She got the fellowship, but in order to get her fellowship or to apply to the fellowship, she would need to have a recognized degree, a recognized master's degree. And even though she was in Denmark, which is in the European Union, she had so, so many trouble to have her degree recognized because the classification systems are different. There was some issue with the credit system, whatever. It's so ridiculous. Like we had the Bologna uh, process to kind of have similar um, degrees in all over Europe, Europe. And then there are still problems with getting your degree certificated or approved or a credit or whatever. Um, so that's that's really, really dumb, I would have to say. That is really stupid. You chose sciences and technologies and had physics, chemistry, maths, Portuguese, physical education, English, philosophy, biology and geology. It's roughly the same as me. I didn't have physics. I mean, I had in, 10, in the 10th and 11th grade and uh, a combined uh, discipline with physics and chemistry. Oh, you had philosophy. I did not have philosophy. Oh, no, I did. I did. I did have philosophy. I also had psychology in, in the 12th grade. But it was very, very basic stuff. It was more like in the historical sense of psychology to know about uh, some of the people who were fundamental in the development of psychology. In Argentina, you have primary school. Oh, that's six grades. Okay. Then you go to secondary, another six grades and then university. Okay. Interesting. Interesting that you actually split it only in two. Um, I think in Europe, the, the common thing is to actually have that split in, in three before university. I mean, in, in Portugal, I know that it would kind of make sense because maybe, yeah, that was a long, long time ago, but for, for many years, the mandatory school was only until fourth grade, but this was like way before the revolution in 74. Uh, and then you started having mandatory school until ninth grade and, and currently it's mandatory until 12th grade. So maybe that's why there are these splits. Um, I don't know if that's anything, if there's anything related with that in, in Argentina. In Austria, it's preschool until five. Okay. And then elementary, the gymnasium. Then you can decide whether you want to continue with gymnasium until 18, change to a profession that we also have that in Portugal. There's all, there are professional schools as well. Start uh, an apprenticeship. Yeah. When you finish school at 18 or 19, you can start studying at university. You're only free to study until 26. Okay. Do you not play, uh, pay tuition fees? I think maybe you don't pay tuition fees. Our tuition fees in Portugal are quite low anyway. Like when I was in university, although that was a long time ago, we paid like a thousand years per month. Uh, no, not per month. It was a, a thousand years per year. No, did I say a thousand years? <laughs> a thousand euros per year. That's that's what it is. Um, okay, so we have the national championships now and I'm definitely not going to be able to do anything. I might try to go in the breakaway. João Almeida is the clear favorite for this. Um, so 
What was I saying? I don't remember. Whoops. The old man strikes back. The old man strikes back. Um, but yeah, we don't pay that much. In Hong Kong, kids in kindergarten need to do interviews with schools. This, really? Wow. That is crazy. That is crazy. You don't pay until 26. Oh, you think we pay a lot? I don't think that's a lot. I don't, honestly, Diogo, I don't think it's a lot. Uh, especially, if, well, I, I don't know if, if the US university system is anything to compare with, but uh, at least if we compare with the United States, yeah, our ours is much, much cheaper. Honestly, I wouldn't say that a thousand years a thousand euros, I keep saying years, that a thousand euros per year is that much. I don't know. But you are obviously entitled to your opinion. Um and I need to catch back on the on the chat. Um twice as much in Germany. Yeah. You shouldn't have to pay to get knowledge. I know, but it's the principle of, like, I mean, the thing is, the money that university, universities get is not just from the tuition fees. They get a lot more money from the budget, from the government budget, because uh, if it was only the tuition fees, I think they would either not have enough money or they would need to, to actually um, get have you to pay more. I think so. Yes, you get paid in Denmark. I've heard about that. I am. I have heard about that. You think it should be free for all? In Sweden, you get a thousand krona every month when you start gymnasium. Wow, that's crazy. They split it like that, but in the end, they make you realize that all those 12 years of studying were worthless. <laughs> that the best education you can have is by your own. <laughs> oh, man, you are bashing the, the Argentinian system. A thousand krona is a hundred euros. Oh, two thousand krona. Maybe it's a thousand. Well, it's money. It's money. Education is free. Yeah, I think it's free in most places. I think it most in 1000 years. That's how old I am. That's how old I am. Yeah, that's how old my brain is. Uh, it's a lot just by the fact I'm going to start this. So I need to I have carte blanche. Breakaway. Okay, I'm going in the breakaway. Because why not? Let's see if this works. And then I'll, I'll read back on the chat. Uh, sneaking, sneaking, I need to get there fast. And let's go. Let's see if I can go in the breakaway. If they allow me to do that. They might think I'm a threat. They might consider me a threat. No, I don't think the Peloton was pushing after my attack. So they should be okay with me. So let's just see how this develops. Um... You think it's a lot just by the fact that we shouldn't have to pay to get knowledge. I understand your point. I do not disagree with your point and but also you would you will in the future theoretically get the benefit of having that education and I think it's a bit fair that you kind of pay for for part of your education. I mean in terms of university, I think that before that it should definitely be free for everyone because it's also mandatory but in uh, when it comes to university because if it was free everyone should have access to it and you know very well that not everyone has ac access to to the university 
So I don't disagree in principle with what you're saying, but then everyone would need to have the same chances and that is not uh, the reality. I think we are wasting too much energy already and the peloton seem to be chasing. So we might be about to get caught. Um, let me check this. Education doesn't cost anything and you get money for it. We don't talk about American college costs in healthcare. <laughs> yeah. True, true. Okay, we are... Okay, the breakaway is set. Good. 700 euros is more than some of the building area employees get paid. Yeah, it's still more than the minimum wage, right? But I mean, it's, it's once a year. So... But again, I mean, I, I get that for some families it's way too much. I was lucky enough that uh, my... My parents could afford my my trip <laughs> my trip to university we could go into this for a long time yeah the proposal in austria to have uh to have studying fees after you leave university you don't need to pay while studying which can be a pain for any people who need to pay for everything of the, on their own. Yeah, yeah. But after that, when you're already working and your fee depends on how much you're making. So you basically acknowledge that the education the state provided helped you earn the money. That makes sense. Um, that actually makes sense. And it's kind of similar to... Um, to what happens in a way with the US system where you go for loans, for studying loans very often, maybe more often than, than not. And then you pay for those once you, once you finish your degree and start working. There is a system for that in Portugal as well, as far as I know, that you can get access to, to student loans. I don't know if there are very if they are commonly used in in here but um i know they implemented that some time ago and again you also need you only need to pay for those for those loans after after you finish the degree and and after you get a job In Denmark, there's a limit on how long time you can spend on educating yourself. Because back in the day, people would just keep studying all their life. Well, we are always studying. We are studying all, all our life. Wait. is Don't tell me. Don't tell me that this is one of those situations. Oh, no. I cannot believe this. I mean, I hope it is. One of those situations in which the peloton will never actually chase the breakaway in the national championships because we are 11 minutes up the road about to be 12 12 minutes up the road with 140k to go oh my okay so who do we have here Viegas I have no idea who you are Pedro Pinto I think this guy was in the Portuguese PCM community Discord channel. Not sure. Salgueiro. Mm -hmm. Okay. Evangelista. We have a chance, you know. We have a good chance of making this. Because the yeah, this is going to be decided by by this group. Okay, perfect. I love it. I love it. I just need to play it perfectly. The 
Portuguese champion is going to come out of this group. Oh, this is crazy. This is crazy. Those loans are like really big. Okay. Yeah, we're not getting caught. We, I have to win it. I have to win it. Come on. Come on. It's not the champion's jersey I was expecting, but... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Will I take it? Will I take it? Oof. There's 18 minutes, basically, behind 1753. This is just insane. Absolutely insanity. Absolute insanity. They had a crash. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, you you need to prepare going out eating and to the theater. Oh, okay. Well, I hope you enjoy your evening. And thank you so much for being around uh, and for all the chatting. That was It was very, very pleasant. Um, I'm glad that you had a good time here and have a great evening. I will see you another day. I will be back tomorrow with Motors Motorsport Manager. So if you want to join... You are more than welcome to do so. Have a great day, man. Goodbye. You won the Belgian Championship, European Championship and World Championship in one season in, in your third year. You mean the road race? Wow. That is impressive. That is impressive. That is what I want to do, but I also need to kind of speed things up. Because PCM... 2022 is around the corner it's like it's going to be about a month until the the game actually gets released so i i'm pretty sure i need to speed things up i might need to start doing some double pcm streams and by double i mean twice a week to to be able to catch up or to get my objective before PCM 22 comes out. You definitely didn't graduate with 70,000 US dollars in debt. 70,000. That would allow me to study for 70 years in Portugal. 70. So crazy. I don't I don't know if it was monthly, Dio. I think the the tuition fees in the US might be either yearly or you just pay everything up front. I don't even know. Maybe you have to pay everything up front. Can you confirm that, Fox? Oh so you're going now as well? You have stuff to do and gonna host a practice. Ahead of a league race on Saturday in 20 minutes. Thank you so, so much for being around, Theo. Uh, enjoy your rest of the evening and have a good practice. And maybe I will catch up with you again tomorrow. Maybe not. So if not, have a good weekend as well. And stay safe, man. Goodbye. And thank you so much for being around. It's easier as a sprinter. I don't know, Diogo. I don't know. If he wants to quit, I don't know. I don't know. Thank you, Theo. Um, but uh, what was I saying? Yeah, I mean, if Fox can confirm. Ah, uh, there it is. It is charged by semester. Okay. No scholarships. It was like 12 to 13 per semester, so 26,000 a year. 104,000 for the old experience. Jeez. Half of your costs were covered by scholarships. 
Ah, okay, okay. So you had a scholarship or a fellowship or something? You had the what we would say in Portuguese, bolsa? So you only had loans for around 50,000 with 20,000 interest. Wow, what the heck? 20,000 interest out of a, a 50,000 loan. That is so ridiculous. That is just ridiculous. Jesus. You have to pay the semester up front. Okay. And like, would, would the bank or credit institution give you the full fee, the full money um, up front? Or would they also pay? Or maybe they actually paid the school directly? Maybe that's how they did it. Yes, yes, Diogo. The interest rate is Tasha Jur. Okay, so 35 kilometers to go. I don't want to attack too, too soon. But also, I don't really see big a big threat from any of these riders. So I think I'm potentially the strongest rider in the group. I hope I am. Why am I going on the relay? I need to be smarter. You need to be smarter than this, Mario. Now just go on their wheel in the downhill. Hello, Yang. How are you doing? Welcome in. Welcome in. That's a steep hill. <laughs> that was indeed. That was indeed. I didn't check the percentage, but it was maybe above 10%. It was. How are you doing? Welcome in. Hope you're having a good day. There's no collateral on the on the loans, so they are upwards of 7 to 10% interest. That is so crazy, Fox. That is so crazy. The money goes directly to the school. Like, it would be cool. The, the bank or the loan institution would give you the full money. And then you would buy Dogecoin. <laughs> you would buy Dogecoin with, with all that money. And then you would make up for the, the interest rate on the loans. <laughs> I'm doing well, Yank. I'm doing well. Hope you are doing well as well. Uh, by the way, and hoping that I don't... I'll do this. So yeah, 16% slope. The steepness was about 16% on that stretch there. We're going there again. I'll, I'll do that in just a second. Okay, we are through this one. Let's try to recover. And let's do this. Everyone, if you haven't done that yet, <clears throat> yet, check out Alpha Yang Delete's channel. Usually streaming Stellaris, that's what he was streaming last time. Very chilled. So have a look at his channel, give him a follow. You will not be disappointed. Crypto <laughs> <laughs> Crypto Mario, that's why I quit my job. I didn't quit. The contract ran out. Uh, <laughs> can the cars get in in my way? Uh, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. Although, I think in some situations that actually happens. They are attacking. These guys are attacking. Let's try to follow. Let's try to follow with my tremendous acceleration. Let's just make sure I don't get dropped. Okay, I am not getting dropped. Let's up the pace a bit just to make sure I stay up at the front of this group. Or at least in the group. So two more of these climbs. This is going to be the finish line. We have quite a lot of yellow yet. Still, not yet. It's still. Should I attack... I don't have the acceleration, so I can't. 
and I don't really want to do anything stupid. Okay, let's let's keep on relaying with them. Let's get so they are attacking again. Are they? No, they are not. Wait, wait, wait. I saw an attack. Someone was attacking. No, they they are not attacking anymore. Let's get the water. It's more like the me talking about Dogecoin is more of a, a private joke meme with... Okay, there they go. Let's keep on following. Let's keep on following. It's more of um, a joke with Fox. But uh, actually, let's let's attack. Let's attack. Can I attack? Can I attack? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Let's leave them behind. Come on. Ah, okay. I could not do it. Damn it. There's one behind. There's three of us left. There are only three of us left. Let's work together, guys. Let's work together. But from what I saw in this climb, I think I can definitely beat them. I think I can most definitely beat them. Yeah, half of them already blew up. Absolutely. <laughs> if I don't win, you lose it. <laughs> don't relay. That's the smartest thing. Let's at least not do that while... But let's put this on 85. Oh, we're already... Wait, 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 wait. This is shorter than I thought. General Grievous, you're shorter than I expected. They are attacking. They are attacking. Let's see, let's stay on the wheel. Let's stay on the wheel. Come on. Come on. Come on. Can we get this done? I need to go for it. I need to go for it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Can I, can I, can I? National champion! Get in there! Let's celebrate! Get in there! Aha! Oh. Thank you, Peloton, for not chasing me. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'll be back next year. So you can do the same again. Oh. Well done, Zakaria. Well done. It's a win. It's a win. But an actual win, not eight. Not finishing eight. <laughs> oh. Thank you guys. Thank you. <laughs> If you had millions to invest in Doge when you did, you'd be a billionaire right now. Why? Why? Um, wait, what's... Why to re remain content with being a millionaire if you, a millionaire if you can be a billionaire? <laughs> the mythical eight place. Eight is the new first, man. Eight is the new first. It's widely known. Oh yeah, let's have this in the podium. I should already have the, the actual jersey. It's a shame that, like in national championships, you should already be wearing the jersey. I'll suggest that to the Cyanide, so they implement that in Pro Cycling Manager 2037. I think that's realistic. I was a bit afraid in the in by the end. I thought that maybe maybe this would not work. But Zakaria Silva. Oh man. That is quite nice. That is quite nice. Finish in the top 20. We finished in the top 
<laughs> in the top one. We we won the race. Plus 70 points. Yeah. Yeah. And we get our first jersey. Our first achievement. The road race champion. That is so nice. That is so nice. Oh, let's simulate some more national championships and then maybe play at least just to see the the jersey the new jersey to see how it looks on us maybe it's going to be a really ugly generic shirt going to watch the end the end of the dunkirk stage okay okay man slocum you're going to go as well thank you so much to the to the two of you to the both of you for for being around really appreciate it thank you so much for the the long long chat we had today it was very very pleasant it's always it's so much nicer when when there's this interactive interactivity it's what i love the most about streaming it's sharing my love for the games and also chatting with the people which coming from someone who was very shy at a young age it's, it's really weird but i have changed i have changed <laughs> Thank you so much, so much, guys. Stay safe, and I will see you another day. You'll be lurking, but don't know if you'll come back today. No problem, no problem. I will also have to finish the the stream at most in in about thirty minutes, so I don't even know if I can play the the next race completely. But um, I will start it because I want to see the. The national champion jersey. I want to see that. But yeah, anyway, stay safe, guys. Stay safe. Ah, we're simulating. We are simulating. The second in the ITT and... The actual winner in the road race. Who would have thought? I never imagined that I could do something with that with that profile of the stage at the end with those steep hills. But uh yeah. This this weird behavior by by the AI. So so weird. So weird. Oh, I'm relaxing a bit now. <laughs> Simulating the South Korean championship with like two riders or something. I hope that that guy named Euro Kim is riding the, the South Korean championship. Because... Just finished work. Wait, 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 wait. Isn't the time difference like seven or eight hours? Yeah, <laughs> those people never know when to quit. It's like seven or eight hours difference, right? That's crazy, man. It's like midnight. Isn't it like midnight there? Gee, that's not good. Almost 11. Okay, so it's 7 hours difference to to me. 7 hours 7 hours difference to me. That is so crazy. Jeez. Yeah, almost almost lunchtime. Almost lunchtime for you. Ah, you work, you work from home. Yeah, I guess, I guess. It's it's a thing, like, maybe in, in some time it will change, but there's always the idea that because you are working from home that you always have to be available. And that 
personal life and work kind of blend each other. I, I'm totally against that. And actually, going back to what I was talking about in the beginning of the stream, um, I was mentioning that now that I'm not working and that I have more time to spend with my kids and stuff like that, um, yesterday when I picked them from school, we went to the to the playground and we had such a nice time. And, and I was thinking, like, I know that work is needed. People need to work. The society does not function without people working. But the way the work um, market or environment or the work mentality is, is today, it, it really takes out the joy of life from many people. Like it, it restricts you so, so much. And it should not be like that. I'm a total defensor that of the thing that you should not be living to work. You should work to be able to live, to be able to enjoy life. Because what's the point of life if you don't enjoy it? If you just work, 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 unless you choose to do that, unless you absolutely love your work and that's the best time you can have, you should not be fully focused on work and that should not prevent you from doing other stuff that you like or at least not most of the time and unfortunately that happens more often than not you can see me playing games <laughs> oh because you don't when you don't have time to play them yeah Okay, so we are going to Grand Prémio Internacional Torres Vedras Troféu Joaquim Agostinho. First stage, it's a short prologue. It says it's hilly, but uh, I mean, it's so short that I'm surely the main favorite for this. Which also means that if I win this, I'm actually not going to see myself on the on the national champion's jersey. Which sucks. Which sucks. I might not win the second stage, so maybe then I will lose it and I see the, the jersey in stage three. Yeah, the race is too hard for me. But yeah, let's try to win this one. We shall see how this goes. It's mostly Portuguese teams around. One more hour and you have lunch. Kids there don't get raised by the parents it's mostly by domestic workers really oh yeah because because the parents are working that is that is so not right that is so not right yeah i wish things were different i wish things were different in that in that regard Unfortunately, it's not what happens. Um, yeah, I think it's really important to to have a connection with your kids, and it's important for both sides, for the parents and for the kids. The objective is to finish in the top ten. I think I can do that. I was supposedly the favorite. But with this being so short, I'm not really certain. Okay, the deepest part is there. I'm not really certain of how fast I need to go. Your boss got an apartment of 2 million euros in his 40s. Jesus. I'm okay with... with... a house that costs uh, only a fraction of that. I'm definitely okay with that. No, that's true, that's true. But, uh, honestly... I trade money for quality life. I would be okay with winning far less than 
than actually having to kill myself myself working for that because then you also don't really enjoy you don't take advantage of all that money why have money if you then don't have the time to use it i think time is the most precious good we have and water as well time and water <laughs> Maybe get the best of both worlds, retire early and move abroad. Well, if he does that, some people then struggle to do that. But yeah, if he can do that, if he can do that, that would be perfect. Yes. Okay, so let's start like this here and see how we, how we do. Okay, starting at 85 in this section, because we are going downhill. Actually, I can go harder. Yeah, we are not going downhill anymore, any longer. Let's keep it like this. And then we have the toughest section, like now, up to 90. Come on. Don't... Finish your energy too soon, Zakarias. No, 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 no. And we are going to win it. It's a win. Oh, Nairu Quintana. <laughs> Nairu Quintana is going to be the last. And we won the stage. Yeah, as expected. So a lot of experience points again. I will take that. I'm leaving all the classifications. And because we are going to be in the lead of the classification, we are not, not going to see that jersey, the champion's jersey in the next stage. Perfect. 39 points. There's actually a chance. 45. Oh, I'm going to have an upgrade before... Volta Portugal. Good. Evolution of interest because of the recent wins. Contacts of interest. Let's check that. Uh, Intermarché is... Oh, we have three contacts of interest now. I'm pretty confident that they are going to offer us a contract. I hope, although I, I won't have any more contacts of interest. These were the final. Ah, oh, please, please offer me a contract, Wanty Gobert. Nairo Quintana. The favorite for this stage. <laughs> I almost feel like losing this on purpose. To, to then see the jersey. But I will lose it on the next one for sure. So, yeah. No problem. Or I wait and I just debut the, the jersey in the in Volta Portugal. That would also be interesting. Yeah, that would also be interesting. We'll see, we'll see. Um one other thing that I've been doing a lot now with, with the free time is that I've been able to be the one doing stuff around the house. I've taken care of the garden of our um, vegetable garden as well. I think you call it like that. Uh, horta in Portuguese. So I've been watering all the plants and that's actually quite pleasant. It's, it's quite nice. It is quite nice. Okay, so we have two teammates with us. Let's have Rafael Silva protecting. Let's start this. 
take position. Uh, no, not observe. Not observe. Why did I observe this guy? I did not want to do that. I wanted to take position. And Tiago and Tunj can go on my wheel. Okay. Like the 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 thing about me being okay with with earning less money and instead have um, a freer life and more time to do other things and to enjoy life. I would definitely like to be able to if if it would be possible. I mean, I know it's very very hard. I was checking some stats. Um, some time ago and <laughs> almost insanely I was with a with a relatively low with a very low I would say number of average concurrent viewers on on Twitch I was among the top five percent of streamers of active streamers on on Twitch which is really insane and then I was seeing people that barely make it as a full-time streamer that really struggle to make it as a full-time streamer they are among the like 0.5 percent top streamers on twitch it is ridiculously hard to to be able to do this as as a career um to be able to do this full-time i would love it if it ever happened because it would definitely allow me to do other things and I think life would be better for all of us uh, around the house. <laughs> yeah, they I don't know, maybe they I don't know. I'm I'm not that fit. I'm not that fit. <laughs> I don't know if it would encourage people to to actually join the stream or if if it would scare them away <laughs> but i appreciate your contribution your your suggestion <laughs> oh man it's like uh, richards as you said you you finished work for today um like when you do that when you work until this late do you go to bed just after just after work or do you still stay awake for for a couple more hours because i would probably need to stay awake for for a few more hours this is quite steep at the end I think I might lose the, the jersey. I'll try to survive in this stage because the next one... The next one is going to be significantly tougher. Although... Those hills are not... That hard. We'll see. You go to sleep around 1 to 2 a.m.? Okay. Okay. <laughs> so I imagine that maybe then you like have breakfast while while you're already working. So you still get some six to seven hours sleep. It's not terrible. It's not terrible. Do, do, do. I love this song or this music. It's not a song. Just coffee? Okay. Breakfast is good, man. Breakfast is good. 
30k to go. Also for <laughs> for next week while I'm streaming for because of the Giro d'Italia, I haven't I considered the the chance of actually changing my my schedule and streaming a bit earlier so I could then catch the the end of the stages. Uh, but the schedule is has kind of been working for me. So I don't really know if I want to move it. If I would move it, it would be like um, maybe two hours earlier and then stream until 2 p.m. my time. And then I would have a late lunch. Okay, we're about to start the climb. Still a minute behind the... the breakaway. Interesting. Let's try to move to the front. And let's maybe use the energy gel already. Yeah, I need to push harder from earlier. Um... I, I consider that because otherwise I will probably need to tell or have a disclaimer for people not to spoil <laughs> the stages for me. Because I might need to just watch them uh, in the evening. Okay, come on. This flattens out slightly. Well, not that much. I'm not going to sprint, I'm just going to try to cruise to the line at 99. Come on, come on, come on, come on. The winner is going to be Nairo Quintana. Quintana takes the win, but I think we still keep the lead. Yeah, I think we still keep the lead. Food is not really that important. I love food. I love eating. That's maybe why I'm not fit enough for hot tub streams. <sighs> Let's check the podium. Oh, he still got six. Oh no, he's going to take the lead from me. Is he? No, he's on the same time. Quintana is on the same time. Wow, that actually counted the gap. But I'm still in the lead. Okay, I'm still leading the GC. Fine by me. Fine by me. Nairo Quintana, the best climber in Grand Premio Internacional Torres Vedras. I'm pretty sure that's his dream. That's the dream of his career. <laughs> Okay, I have about 15 minutes more. Maybe I can actually try to put the two stages in. We reached level 12. Yay, that was early. That was early. Okay, so progression of attributes. Maybe I'm actually not going to be able to race again. So far, stage races actually looks good. <clears throat> okay. Not sprinter. How the heck does the sprint specialization just give me plus one acceleration? Not really anything on the sprint. <clears throat> sprint and puncher are the same. Oh, 
Okay, I think I'm going with stage races. Also, stage races doesn't give me any recovery uh, boost. That's a bit weird. We'll go up to 78 time trial, 65 mountain, 71 hill. It's not an amazing increase, but I do need the resistance the going up to 69. That is going to help a lot. Um, so let's confirm this. Stage races it is. Okay, next up. We have stage 3 of this and I have to use that skill point. Maybe. I know that the sprint potential is very low. So maybe that's why. Maybe that's why it was not giving me anything. Uh, let me first use this. And... <clears throat> I am going for... Should I try the acrobatic descent? I'm not good at climbing, so... Being good at downhill doesn't really give me a lot. Yeah, I, I won't go for that, at least yet. Uh, let's use this to get some more information on other riders. Or maybe this. Training. Better managed tiredness that results from a hard preparation. Buildup of tiredness is slightly reduced behind, beyond 90% preparation. I don't think I have a lot of issues with that. Okay, let's go. Passion. It's done. Um, I was going to check rider data. No, it's not here. Training. Progression. Yeah. So the potential for sprint. Yeah, it's 62 to 66. It's not amazing. In the recovery, I'm very close. I am closer even than, than with a sprint potential. Yeah, these are not improving that much now. Mountain still has quite a lot to improve. How the heck do I have less potential on cobbles than mountain? makes no sense anyway let's I oh, wanted fitness peak I maybe maybe next time <laughs> maybe next time I could have gone to that actually because it might be a bit it might be a bit tricky to I don't know when I'm going to get the fitness peak but it might happen during Volta. No, it will still cover the European Championships. It would not stretch enough to, to get to the, the World Championships. Okay, let's ride this one. 3D race. Let's try not to lose the jersey yet. And I, I won't be able to ride stage 4. <laughs> Anyway, it's going to be a tragedy. Stage 4 is going to be a tragedy. Because I will not be able to... To hold to the lead. And... And yeah, it's, it's not going to be that fun. I still struggle to believe that Nairo Quintana moved to W52. Uh, possibly the biggest favorite to win Volta Portugal. 
So we are on a zero race day condition. Let's conserve the jersey. So let's just stay here and have again Rafael Silva protecting us. Actually, let's have Rafael Silva on the wheel and Francisco Campos can protect me. Yeah, Rafael will protect me later on in the harder section of the of the stage. Oh, we have another rider in the breakaway today. There goes Tiago Antunes. Several crashes. There's al already a break in the peloton, and I think the young rider, the rider wearing the young rider's jersey, because the best young rider is me, but probably Jordi Lopez. Yeah, I cannot see this. Of course, I cannot. But he is probably in this group. Yeah, he's here. Okay. I would love that we could actually see the groups, the other groups in the race. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Don't get dropped, Mario. Don't get dropped. Wait, is that a 17 rider breakaway group? That's quite big. That is quite big. It would be cool if I if I did not see the jersey today in the sense that it would then be saved for for Volta Portugal. It's like a special event. It's like the thing I was criticizing Quick Step for for trying to make Cavendish uh beating the record in a, in a special day for trying to make that a special occasion. And I would be doing the same. Oh, the pace is so, so strong. Are they riding this hard because someone important, an important rider is, is in, in a group behind? Oh, there's Frederic Figueiredo. He is there and the young rider leader is here. Jordi Lopez. So maybe they are pushing hard because of that. Oh wait, Tiago Antunes can now be on my wheel. Okay, so Tiago Antunes gets to my wheel. And Rafael Silva, you are going to be protecting me. Okay. And you two... You two are going to do whatever you want, like getting water. Which is always a great idea. Okay, so the circuit part... I remember playing this last season, in the first season. And I think I managed to hold until the end. But I am not 100% certain. It would be nice. It would be nice. I will not win the GC anyway, but it would be nice. Mountain Pass 7. Wow. That mythical climb of Mountain Pass 7. <laughs> OK, 
Okay. And now we have Mountain Pass 8. There are two riders up the road. When did they escape? Totally failed to spot them. Okay. No, it's almost 4.30. I'm not going to be able to finish the race today. But anyway, I will then finish the stream after this stage. What? Oh, come on. I don't believe this. I don't believe this. I was being blocked here. Come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Guys, 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 come on. I do not freaking believe this. I was so blocked. I was so... Ah! How the heck, how the heck did this happen? Oh, we're going to get there. Okay, we're going to get back there. But I am wasting so much energy. So, so much energy. Oh, man. And I'm not even sure that maybe there was a teammate of mine blocking me. Jeez. Jeez. And of course, then the peloton was pacing hard because like, oh no, the GC leader is behind. Let's drop him even further. Let's be mean. Let's be mean. <laughs> they are pushing hard again. 4.30, I know, I know. Don't mention it, watch. Don't mention it. Oh, there's an intermediate sprint. I should have tried to go. At least Quintana is not taking any points. Nor seconds. All for one. <laughs> one against all. <laughs> I think it's... It's all against one. I think it's more all against one. Let's have some water. Can you do that, Rafael? Can you do that? As we are approaching another climb. Attack? Is that an attack? Not sure. Yeah, we are fetching water bottles, you know? We are doing that. But the pace is really high. The pace is really high. Rafael is bringing that. He is bringing that. Come on. No, I have kids to pick from school, game. I have kids to pick from school. There comes another one. Go. Let's remain near the front. Yeah, Rafael Silva is going to be dropped. His work for today is done. He might still come back. He might still survive. No, he hasn't survived. So he is done for today. Let's make sure I move to the front at the start. Okay, there's Nairo Quintana. 
It's Nairo in green. In green. Nairo in green. Quite nice. That's a meme for those who don't who don't know that. Nairo is in green. Okay, so we have two more climbs left. Two climbs left. Let's actually have Tiago Antunes now setting the pace with Zacarias on his wheel. And we are going up once more. Let's use the energy gel that's an attack by Del Pino. And we reach the top of the climb. Still with Tiago? Still with Tiago? We get there still with Tiago. 7.5 kilometers left. Okay, okay. We can hold this. Like the final bit of climb is quite short, isn't it? 1.3k. I think I can do that. Okay, let's use the energy gel. Are these guys attacking? No, they are just pacing. I'm going to pace myself. Well, that one is attacking. Let's follow Nairo. Let's follow on the wheel of Nairo Quintana. I'm not going to be able to beat him <laughs> to the line. But let's let's follow on his wheel. Ah, oh, he's destroying me. <laughs> he is just destroying me. <laughs> he's going to win the stage and get the, the jersey. Yeah, there he goes. Nairo Quintana going to win the stage unless Hector Carretero, his former teammate at Movistar. No, he doesn't. And we are even going to lose time on the road, I think. Unless these gaps are not counted. I think I might have the gap. I might have gotten the gap. I should have been following the, the wheels earlier, but I was pushing in the flat section. That was a mistake. That was definitely a mistake. I did this just to show the jersey. The worst part is that I cannot even show it because I need to finish the stream. <laughs> ah, I need to finish the stream. I cannot do it. I cannot play another one. I mean, I can start the race and then cancel it. <laughs> just to check the jersey. So let's see the podium. Quintana winning at the same time as everyone else. But he gets 10 seconds of bonus, so he's leaving the GC. Yeah, and I lost more time. I am out of the top 10. Are you freaking serious? Oh, I'm not even in the top 10. I am not even in the top 10. That's embarrassing. Well, I'll, <laughs> I won't be using it either. I'll be wearing the, the green jersey in the next stage. Oh, no. I'll be wearing the green jersey because Naito will be wearing the yellow jersey. <laughs> okay, so yeah, no jersey still. No jersey still. I'm not even the best young grinder anymore. I don't want a distinctive jersey. I want my national champion's jersey. Oh, this is embarrassing. Embarrassing. I'm 13th in the GC. And I don't get points for that. Like, you want me to finish in the top 50? I'm 13th. I get plus zero points. Please. Please. Uh, 
Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to actually play this stage live in the next one, because I remember in the previous season, I it, it was really tight to actually play the 11 stages of, of Volta Portugal during the stream. And if I leave this one to play and, and then still have like a full month of simulations, I won't be able to, to play the, the race completely, Volta Portugal completely, completely in a single stream. So I'm going to probably play this one off stream, then I can post, uh, I can post the results on, on Discord. And again, for those who are not on my Discord server, you can actually join in. Actually, you can check all my uh, socials uh, and related stuff from this link. It's a link tree link. It has like everything there. And so you can, you can check that. So I, I will play this later. I don't know if it's going to be today, probably not today, but I will play it later and then I'll post the result on, on Discord. Um, I'm already not going to stream uh, to raid anyone today because I'm really getting tight on time and I need to go pick up the kids. Thank you so, so much to everyone who was around today. It was so, uh, so great to chat with all of you. Um, it's always really, really nice to have your company. Um, thank you, Richards, for being around for so long and for chatting. And I hope you have a great rest of your evening and that you can have some good time of sleep. Thank you. Thank you for that. To everyone who was around, chatting, lurking, um, everything. Thank you so, so much. And to Mortuus for your raid earlier today. Thank you so much for that as well. And I will come back tomorrow with Motorsport Manager. We have a race to finish because I, I couldn't finish it in the uh, on last friday so we have a race to finish and then i'll play i think three more i want to target that maybe if i can <laughs> we'll see how it goes um and we can also discuss a bit about uh, f1 about the miami grand prix that will uh, happen this weekend so thank you everyone stay safe stay positive and i will see you uh tomorrow or another day. Goodbye, guys.